In this video, I'm gonna show you how to activate an implement switch or a whisker switch on your 56 series Cedar. Right now, you have a power button up in the top right corner that you would have to click every time you want to turn the Cedar on and off on your end rows. Uh, we can add an implement switch, but to do so, not only do you need to plug it in in the back at the ECU, but you have to tell the computer you have one. So we'll hit the gear from the home page, three dots, gear with the lock, and right here, external master switch. Work switch on in work. It also could be work switch off in work. If you can see that, depending on which whisker switch you're using. So you hit this drop down right here and if you're not using one it would be on no work switch and it will either be a work switch on and work or off and work depending on what kind you're using. I usually go with on and work, test it. If that doesn't work go to the off and work. It just depends how it's set up and what you're clicking. From there you'll exit. It's going to ask you to restart this display, shut your key down, fire it back up, and when you do that, you will no longer have your power button up in the top right corner. That means your whisker switch is activated. From there, test it, adjust the whisker switch so that the timing is accurate, and you're good to go. But that is how you tell the controller whether or not you are using an implement switch.